Hi everyone and welcome. Well, we're off to visit one of the best kept secrets in the Philippines and well off the normal tourist routes. These islands are packed with natural beauty, starting with pure white sandy beaches lapped by crystal clear azure blue water. Stunning land and seascapes and breathtaking reefs, some of the best I've seen in Asia, not to mention the amazing natural features such as caves and waterfalls. But before we set off on our little adventure, I would like to thank all of you who have shown support for the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, why not hit the icon and subscribe. Also, if you like the video, let me know by giving it the thumbs up. The only way to get to our destination is via ferry from Cebu Island. We're leaving from the port of Dano, about 35 kilometers north of Cebu City. There are a number of trips per day, starting from 5.30 a.m. till 9 p.m. The trip takes about two hours and the fare's around $5.50. Another option is via Ocean Jet from Mactan Island. There are two trips per day that leave from Mactan at 6.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. The trip takes about one and a half hours at a cost of $12. Okay, enough of the mystery. We're on our way to Komotus Islands. This group of islands in the Komotus Sea is part of the Cebu province and is located between the island of Cebu and Leyte. It is believed that the islands got their name from the Spanish word Komote meaning sweet potato, due to the abundance of the vegetables on the island. The Komotos consist of three main islands, Ponson, Poro and Pitikan Islands. Islands are a small piece of paradise, sometimes referred to as the lost horizon of the south. Getting around the islands, is by tricycle or you can hire a motorbike. You can book a motor scooter for around $8 a day. It's the most budget friendly form of transport on the island. Just be sure to shop around. The roads are a little tragic on the island. This is the road to my accommodation. It's hard to see on the video just how steep it is. However, when I used a tricycle, I was always asked to walk up or down. The two largest islands, Poro and Petican, are connected by a bridge at San Francisco. Ponson Island is only accessible by boat. This is San Francisco Bay Walk. It 
it's a great place to end your day of activities. There are a few bars, restaurants with really good food at reasonable rates. I only spent two days on the Komotus, nowhere near enough time to see everything that these islands have to offer, but I'll be back in the near future to take in all the beauty of the Komotus Islands. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this content interesting. And please remember to subscribe, leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. Safe travels.